Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the EIS in Sheffield today with none other than 52 kg English English boxer Jack Bateson. Jack, uh, to see you training today, done yeah. a bit of sparring and whatnot. Uh, first time on the channel, so tell the viewers a little bit about yourself and what you're doing. Um, yeah, obviously I'm Jack Bateson, uh, a flyweight boxer for GB on the podium squad. Um, I'm aiming for Rio 2016 Olympics next year. Got a, a big, a big 12 months ahead of me, and uh, hopefully I'm at the team. Yeah. I'll see you in there. You look sharp and quite fit, so you look like you're in the, you're doing the right thing. Uh, Andrew Selby made his debut last week. Yeah. Was obviously where you were 12 months ago. Yeah, yeah. Charlie Edwards, same now English champion. Yep. Uh, what do you think about them two leaving and obviously you having to fill their shoes? Um. Well, it, it was first of all, it was a great, it was great for myself. You know, working with Charlie and Andrew Selby. Um, we had some amazing spars together, 100 rounds together. Um, the, the top lads, and I wish them all the best. Um, it's, I think, f for myself now, it's about pushing forward and getting getting to the Olympics. I mean, I've had so much experience now in the amateur game. Two ABA titles, a European bronze medal. I've been, been on the GB squad four years. It's about time now that I really push on and start pushing myself into those flyweight rankings. I know you've been on the GB squad for four years, but you're still only 21, obviously you come on yeah. quite early. Um, I say new face, there's been a lot of hype around him, Muhammad Ali yep. has come in at your weight, a bit of competition for you there? Yeah definitely, I mean I'm fighting him in three weeks in the, in the GB Championship so it's a fight that I've been wanting for a while and I, I think it'd be a good fight, yeah I'm looking forward to it. Would there be any animosity around the gym when um, after the fight? No, nah, well I mean, we, we train together, we're in the gym together today but the thing is, it's, it's a sport at the end of the day and in a, we sparred thousands of rounds together, we sparred since we were little little kids, you know, from school boys through to junior, youth, and uh, now we're seniors, and now we're going to meet in the ring and it's going to be free freeze and it'll be a ding dong, so I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it as well. Obviously, Rio 2016, after the Olympics, you will only still be, what, 22, 23 yeah. years of age. If you don't get to the Olympics, will you call it a day on the Olympic squad or will you try and push forward and go for the Olympics after in 2020? Um, it's too early for me to say, to be honest, I'd, I'd have to have a think about it, but I'm, I'm very positive that I'm going to make the Olympics and um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm staying hopeful and staying positive, positive because I'm pretty sure that I'll be there next year. Obviously the flyweight division in the pro game, there's not many fighters as it goes, yeah. obviously Charlie Edwards is English champion in four fights. Yeah, that's right. If you went into that sort of division now, obviously you're not going to, do you yeah. think you could do quite well there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's guys that I'm, I'm sparring and there's guys that I've boxed in the past doing so well. I mean, me and Charlie, we boxed a, a little while back, I think about a year or two ago, and uh, it was a close fight. And like you say, he's English champion now, and I've come on I've come on leaps and bounds since then, so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Obviously in the flight division as well is Prince Patel. Yeah. Have you seen much of him? Uh, he came down to a bit of sparring uh, not long back, but I didn't, I didn't see too much of him, to be fair. Good kid. Um, yeah, he's, he's alright. I mean, there's a lot of media hype about him and stuff, but... He is what he is, you know what I mean? I, I wish him all the best. I don't wish no, no bad luck on anyone in the game. Top man. Well, you're a good kid and hopefully you do well and bring back that gold if you go to 2016. And best of luck against Mohammed in three weeks. Thank you very much. Top man, thank you.